the GR4. The British Air Force's newest tornado variant, capable for fast, high altitude attacks that employ the latest smart weapons. You won't see the payload coming, but you feel it. The tornado first tore up the skies over 20 years ago, but the big wigs thought that it could do with a fresh look of paint. So they took the multi million dollar killing machine and increased its effectiveness. Originally designed for low-level bombing missions, the Tornado GR-1 operators could see the whites of the enemy's eyes. The problem was, it could see theirs too. When anti-aircraft brought down a tornado in Gulf War I, the top brass had to reevaluate their tactics. So, the GR-4 concept was born. A high-altitude, precise bombing machine. Away from the target, away from danger. The major change uh, in terms of operating the GR4 compared to GR1 was that we're no longer sort of working at sort of low level, less than 100, 100 feet above the ground. So a lot of the technology has been employed to try and make sure we can do precision guided bombing from very high heights, above clouds, in all weather, day and night, and that's where the aircrew actually feel very, very safe in, in that environment. So, no surprise there. The GR4 has all the latest kit, and the British Air Force has gone back to school to learn how to use it. Two people operate the GR4, the pilot and the WIZO, the weapons system operator. He's the one pressing the buttons that go boom. Fleur helps the pilot fly at night. Tiald guides your weapons without even thinking about it. But the new Raptor reconnaissance pod gives the British the latest tactical edge. It is designed to be a medium level sensor, so you're taking the aircraft up at 20, 25,000 feet, looking a long way at the target and getting absolutely stunning pictures by day or by night. It can also be data linked down to a ground station so that the information can be exploited on the ground even before the aircraft's got back. And the pictures that are coming back from that are better than anything else anywhere in the world at the moment. The range is classified. But this picture was taken from 58 miles away. All that's left to do is to choose a payload. Let's consider the situation where we're doing a tiled uh, designation attack with a Paveway 3 uh, weapon. So I'll be using a TV tab to look at the tiled picture. I'll be using the other TV tab to tell me how far I've got to go to the target. I'll be controlling the tiled using the hand controller here, and then once we come towards the weapon release, then it's using the flap down here, and then the pickle button underneath here. Once the bomb's gone, then that's it, we're out of there. I carry on looking at the actual target on the tiled screen here, but the aircraft is free to manoeuvre at that stage, and we're on our way home before the bomb's got to the target. The aircraft is without doubt the best aircraft that the Royal Air Force, the UK area, has got in its inventory. It is as good as anything that the Americans have got or any other weapon platform in Europe. It can do any of the jobs almost that the F-15E can do, certainly anything the F-16 can do, and the F-18. The weapons upgrade means the Tornado will be policing the skies until at least 2025. It is a good load carrier, it can go an awful long distance, with reliability and put the weapons on target, on time, every time. Outstanding.